Saturday's clash between Gangon and Bordeaux at the Stade de Rue de Rue was crucial at both ends of the table. The home side had picked up 10 points in their last four games to move clear of the bottom three, but still remained in danger, while the Willie Sagnols Bordeaux needed to bounce back after consecutive defeats had left their top three hopes on a knife edge. The visitors had conceded 12 goals in their four previous games going into the weekend, but they have no such problems going forwards, and teenage winger Adam Una drilled them in front in the 19th minute after a mistake by home goalkeeper Jonas Lersel. That's a fourth goal of the season for the talented 19-year-old. It was Una's corner that brought about the second goal in the 37th minute. His delivery was met by Cedric Yambere, and although the defender's volley was blocked, Diego Roland was on hand to tap in and continue his recent upturn in form. The host hit back though three minutes before half-time. Thibaut Gires deceiving young Bordeaux keeper Paul Bernardoni with a free kick for his third goal in his last five outings. That strike gave Gangon hope of snatching something from Bordeaux's, as ever, generous defence going into the second 45 minutes. Jocelyn Gulvenek's men have been in excellent form and they dragged themselves back onto level terms shortly after the restart and in fine style. A long throw in wasn't dealt with by a nervy Girondin backline and 19-year-old Marcus Coco rifled in a fantastic maiden league on goal with a left-footed volley. But there was always going to be another twist in this pulsating encounter and it arrived in the 68th minute. Substitute Malcolm's corner was headed down by Uruguayan striker Roland and turned in from close range by Clement Chantôme for his first league goal of the season. It wasn't over there though, and Sloan Privat headed a glorious chance to equalise for Gangon wide. And Bordeaux sealed the victory a minute from time, when André Biogo Poco picked out Sheikh Diabate, and the Malian forward powered in ahead of his eighth goal in just nine matches. Bordeaux have the worst defensive record of any team outside the bottom two in France, but this exciting 4-2 victory keeps alive their hopes of qualifying for next season's Champions League.